Welcome to the first ever edition of Moose Reviews. Basically what I'm going to do every Friday is I'm going to review a movie, video game, album, book, TV show, whatever you guys want or whatever comes to mind if you guys don't ask for anything. <clears throat> and I'm just going to review it and tell you what I thought of it and hopefully it'll allow you to discover new and exciting things in entertainment or whatever it is I'm reviewing that week. So. Uh, this is the first one, kind of a, a quick run. I literally just sat down and started filming. I haven't scripted anything or thought of what I'm going to say. I did something that um, not many people my age really do anymore. I, I read a book for recreation. It wasn't for a class. It wasn't required. I just wanted to read a book. So uh, I read World of Warcraft, The Shattering by yeah, Christy Golden. It's a really good book. Uh, my friend um, Mad Cow, I, you've seen him in the vlogs, he recommended it to me. For those of you that don't know, Mad Cow and I are ridiculous fans of World of Warcraft. We're probably going to go to the next BlizzCon, and when we do, we will more than likely be in costume. If this doesn't get me a date, I don't know what will. You know what? For the sake of avoiding uh, rude comments about, oh, World of Warcraft sucks, or, oh, I didn't get this, I'm going to say right now, if you don't play World of Warcraft or have no idea what the World of Warcraft world is like, go ahead and wait until next week to start watching this part of my videos because um, you're not going to get any of it. Okay, so um, channels I recommend, go ahead and watch uh, Epic Meal Time, Wheezy Waiter, or Shaytards. Go, go, go watch those because you're not going to get this one. All right? Are they gone? Okay. So, what happens in the Shattering is, um, at, at the very beginning, you got Karen Bloodhoof, war chief of, uh, or not war chief, but leader of the Torin, and he is in Northrend at, um, you know, he's in Northrend with, uh, Gromash, Garrosh Hellscream, who is in charge of the, I guess, the, I don't know, I play Alliance, I really don't know, um, I guess he's in, for, in charge of the invasion force at Northrend for the Horde. And so um, he shows up, and they, they have an epic w battle, and they they disagree, but they like each other, and it's like respect, even if they don't get along. It, it's okay, it drags a little bit. And they make it back to Kalimdor, and then Thrall gives Gore Howl this big epic axe to uh, Garrosh, and then some disasters happen in, in um, Orgrimmar and around you know the Horde territories. Thrall decides that he needs to go to Outland to Nagran to learn from the Shaman to heal Azeroth. So he decides that Garage, being a hero from Northrend and an orc needs to be the new leader of the Horde while he's gone. And everybody's pissed off especially Cairn uh, so, Thrall doesn't listen, and so he goes, and um, then I guess, it, Garrosh doesn't really do anything wrong, he's just kind of a little bitch throughout the book. At this point, I'm trying really hard not to blow any spoilers, because then they, that's when they start hitting, it goes crazy. There's betrayals and everything, and it goes nuts, and uh, the just the Torin, I, had, I always thought the Torin were okay. I was never really impressed with them, but in this book, the Torin kick everyone's ass in this book. It's awesome. If you play Torin, you need to read this book. You really do. It's amazing. As for the Alliance side, unfortunately, the Alliance aspect wasn't quite as interesting. I don't know if Christy Golden, the writer, just plays Horde or what was up. It was mostly humans and dwarves and a little bit of Night Elf, but nothing too, you know, intricate on that end. But you get to see the relationship between uh, King Varian Wren from the humans and Stormwind and his relationship with his son, Anduin. It's interesting. Uh, Varian, because of his past, is a warrior and wants to go to war because it's all he really knows. Uh, he fights constantly, hates anything that is an alliance, and some things that are alliance, you know, etc. And, Ver er, and uh, Anduin is more of a, a healer. He wants to be more friendly, he wants to have a peaceful kingdom. He doesn't really even want to fight the Horde anymore. So, 
that's that's interesting. Um, I, I kind of like that aspect. It had some drama in it. But then he goes to Ironforge. Anduin goes to Ironforge and befriends some dwarves. And it it's very dramatic how they deal with the cataclysm and the shattering. Hence the title of Azeroth and all the natural disasters that happen. So... I know that it doesn't sound horrifically interesting, you know, or anything like that, but if you play World of Warcraft and you read through some of the slower bits, it is amazing. If whatever faction you are, whatever race you are, it's something I think you should read because it makes the new Cataclysm expansion make way more sense. Not only that, but the twists will knock you on your ass. It's fantastic. So, if you play World of Warcraft um, and you ha need something to do this weekend, check out... Uh, World of Warcraft, The Shattering, Prelude to Cataclysm by Christy Golden. Uh, it's available at pretty much every major bookstore and, of course, Amazon. I think they might have a paperback out, so if you're like me and uh, you're poor, you can either buy a paperback or borrow a hardback from a friend. So, I, I definitely recommend it. I give it um, four out of five stars. <laughs>